Ja, lite skeptisk. Det förstår vi gott. Nu ska jag ut och kommer lite regn i luften, det likte jag inte helt. Hmm. I want to continue the work on the Husqvarna. Which I had to do one more time. And there is a Yubo Junior with an incredible good piston, looks like very good shape. I have one I want to put together. But um, I have a lot of parts. This was dirty like dirty can be. Uh, but I have one, there's a tiny white little crack there. I have one where all this part is cracked off. Other than that, it looks very good. But it only looks very good. I never tested it. And that's another chainsaw. That's why I put uh, this apart. And I wanted just to screw on it, unscrew it, look how it looks like and uh, how it is to disassemble. And so on and so forth. And maybe the birds coming take this Well, then I'm back again with my Husqvarna 65 and uh, have to do the job again. Hope this time it's will going smooth and uh, with no uh, scandal uh, wrongdoing as last time when the piston change and the cylinder change became a real fiasco. There is the new piston, and the last time this plastic bag was inside the piston, laying squeezed up in there, and I didn't see it. I uh, thought I was missing somehow. It was squeezed up there. I mount the piston, and eventually they fall down and break the whole process for me. So I need to be careful with this. Very nice 48 millimeter cylinder, and it's Meteo piston, and they make very nice writing on the emballage where they specify which whose corner chain source it is, and you could read carbon rings on the 1.5 millimeter thick uh, piston rings. Here is the magnificent Husqvarna 65. This time I'm going to clean it under the muffler before I put the muffler in place. Other than that, it's fairly good cleaned. And I just uh, made a homemade patent for the fuel line to make it stop leaking. And I don't have the correct diameter of fuel line, so I make a double fuel line. So let's see, hopefully this can go smoothly and okay and nice. The old gasket is already there. And uh, what I'm missing, the needle bearing, there it is. The gasket should be there, I guess. Yes, it is. Strange, I have another gasket here too. But that's from another chainsaw, I guess. Here is the cylinder. I mounted with the carb carburetor on. Should be working condition. Try to put that aside. Maybe I should turn it around like this. It 
but the best way angle to do it is from that side because of the front handle but uh, I need to film it too so what can I do yeah this maybe it's a nice position camera is out of the way the tripod and it came with a piston uh, rod too or bolt piston bolt maybe it's the right name I think this is maybe 12 millimeter make sure it fits and it does very good this came because I don't find an old one so there is an arrow there pointing forward I could put a little bit of oil on this uh, piston bolt a little bit of oil put it down this is a good working uh, place align it try to aim it went straight in very good then it is the famous clips Careful not to spread them all over the place there. Easy to lose. So um, I find another wrench. This one is maybe a good uh, wrench to use. I call it wrench, uh, I don't know, that's maybe a wrong name. Put it in there and see if that is the correct tool. Squeeze them together. Yeah, I'm lucky. That is the perfect tool. Make very good sure it's on place. This could be easy peasy for me. Other side. Put it all the way in so I have space for the, the clips. Yeah, perfect. It went smooth and easy. Easy peasy. I turn it around again. Put some two-stroke oil on it. And look which way is up and which is down on the piston ring. I need to find a stop point. There is the stop point. It's behind there and it's up. So this is the correct way to put the piston ring. There is an up and there is a down on the piston ring and you can see it when you find this little small piston ring stopper and it's on the upper side and that's why the clearing on the piston ring need to be on the upper side so gently try to squeeze it over the edge here take your time there it pop in place very good Let's go back place. Then I put two stroke oil on the whole thing here. I 
and some two-stroke oil into the cylinder then I use a strip like this and uh, strip the piston rings into place Let's try that. The perfect way to enter a piston. And if you're really greedy, you even take out this uh, strip, you take it out again and use it for another occasion. Voila, strips is totally complete and you didn't forget the gasket. And there is the piston back on place, the carburetor is on place. I mount the fuel line too. And it's the bolts, I guess it's this. Four bolts with the spacer on. Better take the correct one, measure if they have the same length, I guess, I hope I'm correct, seems like it entered there, yeah it entered there too. Then it's just to tighten them ever so slightly and the piston and cylinder is replaced so it's an easy PC job.